Did you know a high stakes weather forecast may have saved D-Day? The list of potential invasion dates was a short one to begin with. The Allies needed not only a full moon to illuminate obstacles and landing spots, but also a low tide corresponding with dawn to expose elaborate underwater defenses. June 5th was originally scheduled invasion day. And as is often the case in weather, there was disagreement among forecasters. American meteorologists believed the weather would break in time for June 5th, but British meteorologist Captain James Stagg disagreed, feeling the weather would be too harsh for a landing. He ultimately convinced Allied Supreme Commander Dwight Eisenhower to call it off. June 5, 1944 came and pelting rain and gusty wind proved Stagg had made the right forecast. The big waves could compromise the landing craft and the low deck could negate one of the Allies' biggest advantages, air superiority. But with the window narrowing, could the invasion be a go for June 6? The Germans thought the answer was no. Nazi meteorologists predicted the unsettled weather would continue until at least mid-June, making an invasion next to impossible. Confident in this call, German Field Marshal Erwin Rommel even returned home to personally present a pair of Parisian shoes to his wife as a birthday present. He wasn't there for the invasion the next day. Captain Stagg made perhaps the highest stakes forecast call in history. There will be a one-day break in the stormy weather, Operation Overlord will take place June 6th. He was right. Although conditions weren't perfect with some low clouds lingering, the winds had settled enough for a successful invasion and the tide of World War II began to turn. Weeks later, the backup date for the invasion arrived and a large storm created some of the worst weather conditions seen on the English Channel in two decades. Eisenhower reflected on this on a memo to Captain Stagg, quote, I thank the gods of war, we went when we did. The gods of war, perhaps, and a good meteorologist with nerves of steel. I thought that was interesting. I, I kind of knew about this before, but I had to brush up on some of the details. Mm -hmm. uh, particularly pointed that the delayed date was such a huge storm. And so it's conceivable if he was wrong about this call, it could have been delayed over a month. And of course, surprise was a really big part of the Allied plan. Without that, they had estimated 75,000 casualties. They ended up with 12,000, which is still a lot, but it had a lot to do with uh, the Germans not realizing where that landing was going to be. So I thought that was... Uh, the history could have been a whole lot different. Uh, yeah, and he was bucking the American meteorologists, um, and he had, to, he had to call it. By the way, one final note, the reason he was right and the American meteorologists were wrong, they had uh, a division of, of airplanes that was flying this route out over the Atlantic to get observations for him and his team and the Americans did not have that uh, at that time there are no computer models right so what they're forecasting is literally what happened west of us and what's going to happen in a couple of days to the east but uh, big call I like to make tough calls but not like that that's a lot of pressure that yeah. one for sure very cool thanks Keith